Hello there guys, Raj here, hope you guys are well. Today I'm going to be doing a video showing you um, some, some cigars that I've picked up recently and these ones in this video are all going to be from one brand and this is probably, I'd say, the brand that I like the most. This is the Cuban brand, Partigas. And uh, Partigas for me, one of my favourites simply because I think they have the most, sort of like the greatest amount of flavour in their cigars, especially once they're aged a little bit. They have a consistency in terms of the flavor and also in terms of the construction as well, how they burn the draw. Uh, they, they have great variety, different shapes and different sizes, and all of them have their own sort of unique um, sort of characteristics. And I think for me, like if I had a whole humidor just of Partigas cigars, I think that would be really good. They are actually, as far as Cuban cigars go, on the more fuller side or medium to full side, depending on which one you get. Um, but yeah, I think they, they they offer a lot. So, what I've got from here is I've got a box of Partigas E number twos. I've got a couple of uh, limited editions from 2014, and I've got a Maduro number one. I'll show you those in a second. First of all, I was in Spain a couple of weeks ago. I was in Madrid, and I uh, picked up a few cigars, some which I actually smoked while I was out there. A couple, uh, a one box here, which I've picked up to when I to, to put in my humidor back back here, where I am right now, uh, in, in London. And uh, Spain, for me, is always a great place to go to, just for a country, for a holiday, but also for cigars, because they have a good selection of cigars. Um, I think one of the biggest exporters, I think... Spain is actually the biggest, I need to check, double check my facts, but I think Spain might be the biggest importer of Cuban cigars um, in the world, actually. I think I, I did read that somewhere, I need to double check my facts, but they have good prices and um, they have like tobacconists everywhere. So yeah, they had a nice shop here in Madrid where I picked up a box of these. Now these are the Partigas E2s, um, a box of five, Serie E number two. You can see the um, the sticker there. It's the guarantee. So the company is Tabaclera. I think you'll maybe just about see that. Tabaclera. I'm not sure how to say it. Got the E2. And uh, I actually picked these ones up not from uh, a shop in like a, a proper shop, but this was actually from Duty Free in Madrid Airport. And they had a decent selection, uh, lots of larger size boxes, which I didn't really want to buy a large size. But these ones, the reason I picked these ones up is because they've got a good amount of age. So these are a 2013 box, so five years of age on them. And if you've smoked cigars, generally Cuban cigars, you know that I think five years is a great amount of time to age a cigar to have a great smoke but with Partigas I feel like the, open, the, the the first few years a little bit harsh on the tongue a little bit too spicy um, maybe a little bit too overwhelming for my palate but these ones should taste great I haven't actually smoked them so I'm really looking forward to smoking them and here they are whoops so you get obviously you get the uh, Habano sort of paper and they sit like this so you got a picture there of the Partigas factory. I don't remember it being that big when I went to Cuba. And actually the Partigas factory has moved. So they, I, I've seen the old one and now they've got the new one where I did a tour of the factory, which was really cool. So I like the presentation and here are the cigars. Chunky size. Uh, the the D series, oh sorry, the C, the numbered series from uh, Partigas are always nice. The D4, one of my favorite cigars, the P2 also, but I've never actually smoked an E number two. I believe this is a, a 52, no, I don't know, maybe a 54, I haven't checked. Maybe 54 size ring gauge, but I mean, they just look wonderful. They really do. The construction is always good. The draw is always nice. I think visually, you know, that just looks really nice. I mean, scent wise, I have actually had this in my humidor for a couple of weeks. So they've picked up the scent of my humidor, which is a nice sort of intense cedary aroma. 
And this is good. This is, uh, you know, we're coming up to, we're, we're getting a bit more warmer weather here now in the UK. So I'm looking forward to s chilling on my balcony, smoking one of these. And I'll try and do a review for you guys as well. So there you go. So that's the uh, the Partagas E2s. Also picked up a couple of sticks from a store which is local to me. To Well, where, local in means of where I work in London. Um, and there's a nice store out there called Cigars Unlimited. They also have a website worth checking out in London in uh, near Fulham or Fulham Broadway, if you know that area. So these are the Partagas Selection Provadas. And these are the limited editions from 2014. And I have actually smoked a few of these before. And I, I probably bought these in, I want to say, maybe 2015 or 2016. And they were really nice then, like creamy, sweet, had a bit of punch to it as well, a bit of spice. Um, so nice. So really looking forward to smoking these now with, uh, again, maybe four or maybe three, four years age, depending on when they're rolled at the time. Normally, like the limited editions from Cuba, they come out really at the end of the year or sometimes in the following year. And then finally finishing off with, so I got two of those cigars, by the way, and then finishing off with the Maduro number one. Now, obviously, you can you can see here the wrapper is much, much darker. It is obviously a Maduro wrapper. There aren't many Maduro wrappers in the whole Habanos range. I know that Cohiba have one. And I always get a bit confused. And maybe some of you guys can help me out there because like if a wrapper is slightly darker, does that necessarily mean it's a Maduro one? Because I know with the sort of the way that they grow this particular wrapper, it's can only be called a Maduro if it's done in a certain way. But is it like in the like a lot of wrappers I've seen in Cuba tend to be on the lighter side, so I presume they're not Maduro. I know that Cohiba, the um, the Genios, that or that that Maduro uh, Five series have that wrapper, and now Partigas have this one. Also in the uh, the Habanos Festival that just happened a few weeks ago or last month, they announced that they're going to be releasing this in a number two series um, size, which I think is a Pyramides, and a number three, which is um it's just like a different size so you're going to have a bit of variety i've smoked one or maybe two of these before and i think they need a lot a bit more time I, I i found them a little bit overwhelming um made me feel a little bit lightheaded if i'm honest with you and i just couldn't really get into the flavor so as i said in the beginning i like particles a lot this one i'm kind of on the fence off but i'm willing to keep it in my humidor try it out a little bit more or keep, give it a bit more time and then try it out at a later date. So guys, have you tried any of these cigars? Let me know what you think. Um, let me know some of the cigars you've picked up recently or you've been smoking recently. Uh, check out my Instagram page and um, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe here if you like what you see. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.